This afternoon, um, we hope we can limit our questions um, to the proceedings of, of, the, uh, of the event. We can um, ask more if you have clarifications about um, the plan, its features, and ano yung um, future plans natin um, because nga of um, Michelle being the new CEO. So, if you have questions, you may please ask. But um, for a brief background, again, Mega Pride Foods Incorporated is the newest subsidiary of um, Mega Global Holdings. And who are the makers of our well-loved packaged food and beverage brands such as Mega Sardines, Mega Tuna, Mega Prime Quality Canned Foods, Vegetables, Cooking Aids, and the Prios Park Reuse. So um, anybody who, can, who wants to ask questions, please um, um, raise your hands. Or if you, have, um, if, you, if you don't want to ask, um, you can just write it on a piece of paper so you can read it out loud. Okay, sir. Uh, please um, mention until your name and publication. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Alan Mundo from the Philippine Daily Inquirer. Uh, to Madam Michelle, I just want to ask because you mentioned earlier uh, about expanding the product lineup. Can you give us more details about this? Yeah, okay. Uh, for product lineup, Martin. Um, so, this plant was really manufactured or built so that it can be very versatile. Our goal and our vision in the company is to provide quality, high value, but affordable nutrition to millions of Filipinos. So without going to exact details on what type of products, you can expect a lot of new exciting products that are affordable, very much delicious, and convenient, and whatever we see in the families of millions of Filipinos. We want to leverage on our strength currently, which is distribution. We have, we're servicing millions of Sari Sari stores. And why not give them an opportunity to have better products in their stores for the Filipino families? So we're going to be launching more canned food, definitely, and a lot of different types of affordable, nutritious uh, food that is uh, meant for the local and export market. Sir, are there plans to go into non-meat-based canned goods or will it still be, you know, meat products? Um, yes, uh, we also have vegetables uh, in plan. Um, as we know worldwide, uh, alternative meats is also trending. However, in the Philippines, we believe we're not yet ready. But eventually, uh, our R&D and innovation capabilities will be built to that level so that we're, we can take the trends from what's happening worldwide and bring them here and make it accessible uh, to the Filipinos down to every single region and every single size size store. Sir, how about yung sa Libor na portfolio po na may ba tayo sir, with this plan? So now we currently have Primo that's not alcoholic. Uh, uh, in the liquor space, uh, we don't have plans to go with liquor yet. Um, that is a very Filipino-Chinese uh, value. However, there are uh, trends that are not based in terms of liquor uh, alcohol content that we're looking into. But uh, especially, uh, we want our products to be nutritious, of course. That's number one. So, uh, uh, Last question, sir. Is there a rough timeline for these new products? Is it in the short term, medium term, or? Of the years, please. All of the above. So, uh, as you can see now, we're aggressively expanding. Uh, we will be using this plant, this platform, to end this momentum here of you guys to aggressively expand because we see there is a need in the market to provide better, or better alternative food products that are of higher quality and better value. So, we want to bring world class products to the Filipino people. So. It's all throughout the regular approach of the product. Alright, thank you so much, Marvin. Um, for everyone, um, if we can please limit our question to one, uh, to one and then one follow-up question so we can accommodate um, all the questions as much as possible. Uh, I have here Sir for uh, Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, Rafi Ayeng from the Daily Tribune. Sir, recently, nagtaas ng presyo ang mga canned uh, sardines. Is the incremental cost sufficient na para makabawi sa mga nalugi natin for the past pandemic? Since uh, I, I deal with the DPI directly, no? and uh, as you know, the service is controlled in pricing. And last year, unfortunately, we had to increase prices, uh, I think, three times. Uh, we did it in stages uh, from 2 to 3 percent each time. We had to get approvals from uh, the DPI to do so. And to tell you honestly, our profitability is not great. 
but sales is an all-time high. So this is where we say that uh, kung talaga na naghihirap, lahat tayo naghihirap ay magsasacrifice. So isipin nyo our sales, our revenues are all-time high, but our profitability is not. Because we are really sacrificing a lot of our uh, costs so that we don't have to pass it on to the consumers. So we're tightening our belts as well. We are also subsidizing some of the increase. As much as possible, we don't want to increase the price because we want to help the Filipino people, especially now that they shop the other two products are really high. So that's our commitment to the Filipinos. As long as we can, we will hold the price. So, so para pa siya na, does this mean na uh, this coming year, wala na susunod pang price increase? It will depend on the increases of the pricing of the fish. If there's a lot of fish cash, it will depend on the price of diesel, because we heavily rely on diesel. It will depend on the price of steel for the cans, so yeah, it will all depend. So, God, God, only God knows. But we are hoping to have a very good fishing season. So welcome is very ready for the fishing season, which started today. All right, thank you so much. Um, see, no, my questions about uh, maybe clarifications about the facility or um, uh, here. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, hello, Paul Shaina Francisco from TV5. I just like to clarify when do we expect po na maging fully operational the plant? And just to clarify also. Um, sinabi ko kasi ni President Marcos, 11,600 metric tons, is that per day or is that the yearly production estimate? So, a uh, your first question is uh, when will this plant be ready? Actually, as of this moment, it's actually already ready and we're already able to produce. So, more than likely, by tomorrow, once we can have fish, we'll already start to be able to use our production line to really test out the product and see how it's going to go. Uh, what was your next question? How much production are you expecting? Because we're seeing oh, different numbers. I see. So uh, for just this kind of plant alone, you're going to be able to see about 20 to 50 metric tons per day of products being produced. So that's just initial because we have additional lines coming in. All right. There's more questions. So in terms of production, as you follow up, because in terms of metric tons, in terms of uh, kilograms, measure by unit of if we're able to provide sufficient stocks, sufficient fish uh, capabilities, our Zimbabwe operations has a capability to do up to 2.4 million cans. 2.4 million cans in Zimbabwe, and this plant will do 600. So, a total of 3 million cans a day. Given we have sufficient fish supply. So we need to make sure, just like what DBN said, food security is there. So we're trying our best to source from the local fishermen uh, abundance of fish. So let's pray we have more and that they continue to repopulate in our efforts for sustainable fishing works. Hello, good afternoon. I'm from, uh, I'm Ruhin Yosa from Jarvetas, Batangas. Ang question ko po ay, bakit niyo po napili ang Santo Tomas, Batangas para sa inyong bagong planta? Thank you, ma'am. Um, I have mentioned it a while ago during my speech. Batangas has the highest GDP growth in last 2020 and also there are 6.7 million Filipinos here that we can employ for our family life. And also strategically, this is a very good location because it's very near source of one where we can source our fish. There are a lot of fishermen there, so that's where we can source our fish. Thank you. Yes. Good afternoon. Thank you for inviting us here. Don't fool you from 102.1 FM. Ma'am, uh, tanong ko lang. Congratulations po ba ako CEO? Uh, saan po magmumula yung volume ng mga empleyado yun na priority para magtrabaho dito sa magandang planta ng Mega? Thank you. Yeah, uh, the main proximity would really be this Batangas area. Uh, we want to get uh, more the locals here para maka-work din talaga sa uh, facilities. Because we are in Batangas and really doon mo talaga gusto tumulong sa mga NGOs. 
Thank you, Marco. Ah, yes, sir. Good afternoon, po. Uh, congratulations for the inauguration and the appointment of Mami Shia, the CEO. I'm Vladimir Asper from the Wednesday Herald. Um, curiosity, seek lang naman. Ano ang uh, um, major source po ng ating products, especially the fishes? Ano ang uh, source ng fish in uh, So, the sources for our raw fish will really come from the local sources muna, which is source of in Mulan. And then we will try to exhaust all of the all the fish we can get from them. And really, if there's still not enough, then naturally we do have to import frozen fish from other sources. But really, we want to concentrate talaga on all the local sources that we can first. Uh, it's good to mention that us being a commercial fishing company, we're unable to uh, catch within uh, 8 to 10 nautical miles from any uh, seashore. So we're not allowed to catch in source of And we want to promote the livelihood and help the fishermen, the fisher folk. So hopefully this plant will enable them to go out, build more boats, catch for more fish. Kasi about that naman, ang fish doon sa area niyo. Minsan lang may hesitation because mababa ang value ng tambal. Pero knowing that they will have a steady buyer like us, hopefully they will invest and continue to grow their businesses. We are also working with the Bureau of Fisheries to help them upgrade their boats and upgrade their facilities so they will be able to give us quality fish because we really need to process very fresh fish for our mega cancer. Uh, yes, sure. Uh, Ma'am, is this specifically yung uh, amban and tuna or other kind of fishes also? Most, most is tamban. For sardines, it's really tamban. How about the tuna fish? Tuna, skipjack tuna. We also will be producing skipjack tuna, but uh, we don't have the volume yet for tuna. We're still building, so please, bilingyan naman ang mega tuna dahil napakasarap talaga niya. 100% pure tuna. What are extenders? Very pure. All right. Yes, ma'am. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Joyce Manasho from EDSUN. Just to clarify, pang ilang uh, planta na po natin ito, and are we planning to put up more in other parts or other provinces in the country? So this is actually our third plant already. So our first plant in Metro Manila. Uh, as for other plants, we don't know what God has planned, so we may be able to put one in Visayas or more in Mindanao. It's just really what He wants us to do to provide for the Philippine people. As of now, I draw expensive to say for to build the plan. So this is our our plan for the zone area, strategically located. And what makes this uh, manufacturing plan very unique? Because it has a green features. Uh, if, uh, zero waste system. Yeah, so this is really a state of the art facility. So we've been at this uh, canning game for 20 years. And what you see here in this canning plant is really new technology. We also have new technology where we did buy solar panels, uh, take care of our wastewater, and we built a very big wastewater plant to really ensure that we are environmentally safe as well. Okay. I would like to add, um, aside from this being a plan, I'm sure uh, you'll get a chance to uh, tour the field trip area. And that is our commitment not only to help the uh, development of tourism here in Santo Tomas and in Batangas, but also provide education to young kids and adults alike to see the process of how catching and canning sardines works. So it will inspire them to be future engineers, future fishermen, future um, business people. And they, they will learn a lot about the history, the products, and hopefully appreciate how a humble can of sardines, which is only 20, 22 pesos, can feed four to five people, and is how it's made end to end. So we want to elevate the sardines in our country and make sure that people remember that it is a Filipino staple. Anywhere you go in the world, rich, poor, kahit sino ka man, Filipino ka, kumakaya ka ng sardinas. We want to remind everyone about that. Follow up na. Uh, we are working with DepEd 
para for the field trip tours of our children para they can come here and bring their field trips here to see all the facilities with the field trip and all the production line. Uh, hello, good afternoon, uh, and follow something from the Manila Times. Uh, congratulations, ma'am, for becoming the new CEO. Uh, uh, with the uh, follow up, lang po, uh, no, not really follow up. With regards to like, the previous one, regarding your field trips, po, um, how much po are, uh, is the company expected to make like uh, from these educational trips, po, per se? Zero. Um, it is not for free. Of course, we need to uh, have upkeep. And we need to control. We cannot. Uh, there are millions of students. Uh, we need to do it by batches. But this educational tour is not to make money. It is really to educate the students, the people, on how it's made. In Sabonga, uh, our father has always opened the plan for anyone, anyone, even all our competitors have been to our plan because it's one of the cleanest and best plants in Sabonga. It's also part of the tourism there because Sabonga is the Sardine capital of the Philippines. So, kami, we are not um, shy and we are not, uh, hindi kami, hindi namin tinatakot kung anong meron kami. We share it to the world because we need to share ideas to talk to me in a better uh, manufacturing capability nationwide. Uh, follow up lang po, uh, you mentioned uh, po kanina like uh, you're going to do an uh, IPO, but can you uh, provide more details regarding that matter? Actually, we are just in the process to be IPO able, meaning we are making our processes, governance, we are making sure that we are trustworthy with our stakeholders and all our employees as well. So we are in the process, we are not sure if we are going to do it, definitely, but we want to make our company IPO able. Uh, so, like, uh, parang, uh, no definite uh, timetable is on when, when that will be yet. No definite timetable. It is in the works. So, wala pang final time. Okay. Okay. And, I... Good afternoon. My name is Luala from President of the Philippines. There was a mention a while ago that um, you reached uh, all the time my sales. Is that correct? Can you put a figure on that? And can you also give us your output for this year? By how much do you expect to do? So, um, percentage-wise, um, we, we are growing, actually, year on year, we're growing double digit uh, for the past 10 years because of our aggressive marketing, aggressive supply, aggressive um, uh, the trust of the Filipinos, the trust in our quality, the trust in our brand, uh, and their belief in the catching of organic and freshness proposition. Dati, ginikisip ng mga tao ang tayo sardinas ay pare-parehas lang. Uh, hindi naman ito yun kasi may mga sardinas na lansa, kaya ginikisa. So, nasaan tayo ginikisa ang sardinas kasi nga pwede siya makakay. Ang mega, hindi na kailangan ko yun yun. So, kaya unti-unti natututo rin yung mga tao. So, that's why we're really experiencing phenomenal growth aside from the quality of the product, our uh, good sales team, our good employees is working on the solution. Okay, follow up. So the outlook for this year is, do you expect to beat that all-time high sales last year or sustain it? And um, the drivers for that? Of course, the every year has to be a record-breaking year. I'm proud to say that in the last five years, it's been record-breaking every year. Uh, so we really pride ourselves because we have uh, good professional people and a well-established brand that we can rely on and It is actually because of our sales and marketing and all our employees. That's why we are doing, we are doing very good. So we have very good people. We thank God that they are given to us to help us run this company because we cannot do it alone. All right, we have... Um Room for two more questions, so I have one here and one here. Good afternoon, Joe and Paul from the Philippines Museum. Sir, can you give figures on your, you mentioned that all time high sales for the last five years. Can you give a figure and a growth number for this year? Uh, well, that figure is uh, still in the works. Uh, 
uh, we say all the time hi because we are distributed in so many more stores. Uh, more and more people are purchasing our products in size size stores. And you know the pandemic has changed a lot in buying habits. Uh, people start to stop eating out. They started to tighten their belts. And they more may have bought more affordable food products just like our sardines. So that's why we're experiencing a, a good sales growth. And we hope that will continue. But we also hope that uh, the economy bounces back and uh, becomes better. And for the last question. Hi, sorry again. One last question. Po. You made mention of affordability. Baka you can give us more details about it. Like, how do you expect it to be affordable? Mal malaki ba po yung decrease at, at least sa logistics cost? And um, for, for yung mga masa po, do, we, do they expect na may significant decrease in prices? Or baka hindi na lang po tumakas yung current prices? Thank you. Well, um, for the prices, we try as much as possible not to increase. Um, before Benga was a premium. Uh, we were a premium of at least a peso or 50 cents higher than the next brand, and we were still number one. Right now, we're parity. Uh, we are equal price with uh, players that are uh, not of higher, uh, as high market share than us, uh, because we don't want to you know, burden the Filipino people. On the affordability, uh, last year we launched corn sardines. Corn sardines is about 30 to 40 percent cheaper. Uh, it is uh, sardines that is mashed up uh, using the heads and tails and the other sardines that can be canned. And uh, usually the heads and tails and other parts of the fish were put into fish gill and grounded and uh, put into feeds for animals. And now we innovated to a product that tastes good with good nutrients like cocaine, omega-3, calcium, everything is there. And we made it more affordable. So why do we have to use the um, uh, heads and tails and other parts of the fish or animals where we can actually provide them for better nutrition for the masses? We're talking about the class E and the lower, the people who are really in poverty and cannot afford. So hopefully we will be able to make more of that so that they can eat healthily. Actually, it's more of the miscuts because if it's cut in the middle, we cannot put it in a can. Usually, that's why when you open a can of sardines, usually it's full, right? So if it's cut na in the middle or very small, we don't put it anymore. So sayang naman, instead of that, we put it in a corn sardine. Alright, thank you so much Marvin, Malcolm and Michelle for warmly accommodating the questions of our media friends.